Hey guys, Miss Tracy here, and we are back on 76, and today we are doing some of the badges. So actually, I'm just going to do the cook badge for this video, so let me show you the challenges. Okay, so we have the cook one here. So you have to cook all these different things, and then you have to cook food while wearing a chef hat. I'm going to teach you how to get all these different things, including the tricky one, which is the blackberry honey crisp. You need the royal jelly for that. But first, we're going to do the knowledge exam, which I haven't done yet. We're going to go ahead and start that. Okay, let me show you where we are on the map, which is right here at the Pioneer Scout Camp. Here is the building with the knowledge exams in it. So you go in here, head over to the computer, and we're just going to do the cook exam. Go to tadpole exams and cook. Now, I'm a cheater, and I looked up the answers online so that I could just show you guys the right answers. You can Google them, or you can watch me here. So we're going to start the exam. Show question. I like the throw a noodle against the wall and see if it sticks answer, but we're going to go with use a spoon. Okay, next question. Okay, this one talks about what to do if a pan with grease catches on fire, and you're going to go ahead and place the lid back on the pan and wait. Now, I have to mention to you guys, there's like a set of questions, and you get five random ones, so I am going to put a link to the answers in the description. Watch pot never really needs watching. Watch pot burns down the house. It's really a watch pot never boils. All right, last one. What types of objects should not be placed in fondue? I mean, this one's kind of obvious, but just in case you were curious, it's hands, apples, and even broccoli and bread. It's all good in fondue. And, oh wait, one more. Okay, let's talk about the ingredients for cranberry jam, and that's cranberry, carrot flour, sugar, and water. Ta-da! I just completed cook. So let me show you guys how to get the rest of them. Did I review my score? You passed! Yay! Okay, I'm not doing any more exams right now. We are going to head home and talk about the different food items. Okay, so the next one is to cook 10 things while wearing a chef's hat. So basically you're just going to need some wood and some random, like, plants and stuff that you can cook with, some boiled water if you want, and then you need a chef's hat. So I got mine here, way up here at Clancy Manor, because there's a teddy bear scene where they're doing a cooking show, and actually, I'll probably mention that later on when I talk about getting peppered. But you can find the chef hat randomly throughout the world, so just, you know, keep an eye out and pick one up if you see it. Okay, so here we have the blackberry honey crisp, which I think is the trickiest part of this whole tadpole thing. You need royal jelly. Now, royal jelly drops from honeybees, but it's not the kind of royal jelly you need. That's junk, and the one you need is aid. Razor grain is pretty simple. Let me back out. Whenever I need razor grain, I go down here to the homestead. These two areas right here, there's a corn field here and a razor grain field down here. And you can get, like, if you put on the green thumb perk, you can get, like, 200 bits of razor grain there. So you don't need to worry about running out of that. Blackberries are randomly in the forest, but they're also like around the outskirts of White Spring, like around the train tracks and stuff. But we're going to head over. The easiest royal jelly to get is here at the Middle Mountain Cabin, so we're going to go there first. Okay, this is where you spawn in. Now, this place is usually full of pretty tough enemies. It's actually not too bad right now. It's honeybees. So, looks like I can show you the fake royal jelly, maybe, if I can get that to drop. So, give me a second to kill these guys. Okay, perfect. So, this guy dropped royal jelly, and I'm going to take that. And I'm going to show you that it shows up in my junk. Okay, so this is the one that's junk, and it scraps into glass and antiseptic. This will not make the blackberry honey crisp. You actually need the aid one, which, like I was showing you here. So I spawned in over there. And now I'm going to come around the back here. And behind this cabin, there's a little grave and a picnic basket. Now, in this basket should be royal jelly. Now, I pretty sure I didn't loot this within the last 24 hours, so somebody already looted it on the server, so we're going to come back and check it out. Okay, I've server hopped like three times and it's still not showing up, so maybe I looted it and I forgot about it. So I promise in this basket right here, a little jar of royal jelly will spawn, and it will be an aid item, and that's one of the ones that you need for the blackberry honey crisp. So I'm going to show you the other place to get one, and that's a little tougher. So for this part, we're heading to Tanagra Town in the mire. Okay, so when you spawn into Tanagra Town, you spawn over here, but you need to go over here to this ginormous tree thing. And if you guys have watched my other site, you know I fall off of things a lot, and this is kind of a pain in the butt, so I'm not going to have you guys watch me get up there. But I'm going to tell you that you go up through here, and then you go around. You know what? Forget it. I'll give it a shot. Let's see. 
So you want to walk around up like this. And then it's a little tricky. You got to get in through here. A lot of bits of parkour to get up through this area. Head around here. Oh, and then I fell off. Yep. See, that's me. I fell off a shit. Okay, back to where we were, which is right about here. Now, there's other bathtubs in the tree. This is not the bathtub you need. It's a weird sentence. You need to go up this pipe. Don't fall, don't fall. Random toilet. Up here. This is a little tricky spot right here because you got to, like, get in this thing. Okay, shit. Where's next? Oh, yeah, back here. Up here. And this is a lot easier if you have marsupial like I've got going on here. You can come up here. There's a little cave over there, but we're going to go up over here instead. Now, it's tough because I have marsupials, so I don't know where you guys can actually jump the right way. But this is how I get up here. Oop, this way you don't fall down. Okay. Okay, I figured it out. Instead of going in this building, we need to turn around and go up this way. And go to these buildings over here. Now, there's two buildings and two tubs, so hold on. First off, there's good loot up here. Giddy up buttercup and stuff. So this is where the giddy up buttercup and stuff was, and then we're gonna jump up here. Now, I don't know how you do it without marsupial. I guess you can go back here and climb around. Up top. And then jump over. How do you jump without marsupial? I don't know how you guys play this without mutations. So eventually, you gotta get yourself up here into this tub. And there's the royal jelly. Now you can actually see what it looks like on the game. And again, this one will go into aid. So let me show you. There we go. So this is the one you need. It does not go bad, but it is a pain in the butt to get. And as far as I know, those are the only two spots in the map where you can get it. So. It's very tough. It also stinks when you climb all the way up here to this damn treetop and there's no royal jelly in the tub. Now, just in case you guys do what I did the first time, there is another tub in a building right around here. Where is the other building? So that's the building that had the royal jelly. And then there's another one over here with a tub in it. And I got confused the first time I came here. I was like, oh no, there's no royal jelly because there was nothing in the tub. So this is not the right tub. Whoa. This tub is always empty. Anyway, we'll head back and move on. Okay, so I forgot to mention how you get the actual recipes. You can find them throughout the world, but I'm actually gonna show you a place that sells them too. But first, we're gonna work on the brain bombs from over here. So we're by the Red Rocket Station in Flatwoods. And there's this little trailer here. There's some right here, which has already been picked. And then there's some down here too. Now again, green thumb is really handy here because you get two of them. But now we're going to go ahead to where you get the Mothman eggs for this one, so that's the tricky part. So we are going to Point Pleasant. Okay, so this is where you spawn in at Point Pleasant. I'm just going to run over and show you where to get the eggs. There's actually two spots that have eggs. So we'll run down this bridge. Okay, at the end of the bridge, you have two options. You can go left toward the water or straight ahead toward the actual museum. So down here are some eggs. There we go. Oh, that was a big tick. Okay, so we got the eggs here, and then I'll show you the other ones. This is very creepy, by the way. So the other option is to go straight here toward the museum, and then there's eggs at the bottom of this statue right here. Now, the last thing that you need for the brain bombs is sugar bombs, and you can find them in a couple spots. I can find them at the Red Rocket Station. That's next to the giant teapot. I mean, you can find them all over the place, but I've also seen them specifically at Dolly Sods. I'm getting attacked. Right here in the building there. Let me kill these things real quick. Hold on. Okay, the next one is the Cranberry Meatball Grinder, and this one's kind of a pain in the butt, too, because you have to go to dangerous places in order to get Scorch Beast Meat and Cranberries. Um, spices are anywhere that's, like, food-related. Any cafeterias, restaurants, diners, you can usually find spices. They're just a little jar on the counter, and then... I'll show you where to get the cranberries. So I go here to the overgrown sundew grove and you're gonna need like a gas mask, a power armor or something to protect you because you can get lung disease from the plants. 
There's also some pretty high-level enemies in there, and then the cranberry bushes are just along the ground. Again, I recommend that green thumb perk. And that's this guy right here in Perception. Now for the Scorch Beast meat, you'll want to go to Fisher Sites and find some Scorch Beasts, but you'll notice when you kill them, sometimes they don't drop meat, so you're going to use another perk card here for some help, if you can. And that's this one, also in Perception, Butcher's Bounty. And then when you search the Scorch Beast, you have a chance to get Scorch Beast meat. You have to like actually search them with Y to get that to pop up. And then the spices are just in any cafeteria or diner or anywhere randomly around the map. You can find them like on shelves and stuff. It's just a little canister. Okay, so the next one is the s'mores recipe, and you can get it from doing this event down here at Camp Adam. It's called Campfire Tales. You don't, you're not guaranteed to get it. It's just a random drop, so hopefully you get lucky and get this recipe. Anyway, so you need brone, brahmin milk, razor grain flour, spices, sugar, and syrup. So for the brahmin milk, you can find brahmin in Flatwoods. Hopefully you get lucky and you go up to them and hit A and you actually get milk. You don't get milk every time. The razor grain flour you have to make here. That's right here. You need concrete and razor grain. So I showed you where to get razor grain earlier on. You can get concrete at the monorail. And then you also need syrup, which you just need glowing resin for that. And that's the stuff that grows on the side of trees. Now there's some outside of White Springs in this area here, just growing along the sides of the trees. And then you just turn it into syrup. The sugar you can find throughout the world, but you can also find it for sure at the giant teapot. Or you can make it out of snaptails that spawn in the rivers. If you have some out here, probably. Right here, snaptails. So the next one is seared venison with berries. Now the pepper you can get randomly in places like the cafeteria and stuff. Um, Hillfolk hot dogs always has some pepper. Here, I'll show you where that is. At least it always has it for me. Sometimes I guess it cannot spawn, but that's right here. Now the venison, you just need to find some rad stags. But if you look back here, usually, I'm right here next to the green country sign north of Flatwoods. I usually have some deer in the little river back here. They don't seem to be here right now. And then you need starlight berries, and I can always get some by Mama Dolce's. I just fast travel up here, and then on the side of the road, there's starlight berries. Okay, the next one is sweet roll. And again, I'll show you where to get this recipe in a minute here. But you'll need spices, sugar, sugar bombs, and water and wood. So... The spices and sugar you can find, like I keep talking about, in the cafeteria places, or you can find the sugar at the teapot. The sugar bombs are also in random places that like sell boxed or canned food, or like you can find them for sure. I always find them in the Red Rocket Station next to the giant teapot. And again, at Dally Sods, when I go down there, sometimes there's sugar bombs on the shelves in there. Okay, the last one is the Yao Guai Roast. You need mutt fruit, pepper, and yao guai meat. So again, that Dali Sad's place I keep mentioning almost always has a yao guai when you first spawn in. That's right here. Mutt fruit you can basically find anywhere in the forest. And the pepper I've mentioned already, you can find it in cafeterias and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where you can get the recipes. Okay, so we are here at the White Springs Resort, Le Grand Gourmet. We're going to talk to this guy over here, and he sells some recipes. So this is some of them. So the Brain Bombs, Cranberry Meatball Grinder, and the Sweet Roll are all in here. And I don't know, he might actually change his inventory a little bit if you server hop. But I just happen to be lucky and find the other recipes throughout the world. Today's special is, is that a teddy bear cuisine. with a hot dog in the oven? Oh my god, I never noticed that. He's got a cup in there too. Can I open this oven? What the heck? Okay, well, on that note... And that's all I have for you guys for the cooking badge. Double check. Yep, that's all of it. So I hope this helped you out. I'll probably do videos on the other badges too as I go along and figure out how to get them myself. Otherwise, if you guys enjoy this video, let me know. Give it a like or comment or whatnot. Hope you guys stick around for more and we'll see you next time.